Are I'm you done yet? You around if you don't stop it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Reaper. Where are we? Back at the airport. We're back at the airport. United Cargo. We got the empty trailer. We got the empty van. So we're here and Ken's son, or Ken's son, Reaper's son, Ken the Mudman came with us to help. And uh, we're gonna load this up with the second shipment of Stingrays and get this going. Okay, we got it all loaded up. Reaper was supposed to be videoing, but he's kind of slacking today. We got all these bigger ones in. One box was wet, and that was this one. And uh, it's still pretty heavy, so it's not low on water. And then two coming in here. So a little bit lighter than yesterday. <sighs> okay. You got the gate up. We're ready to go. Let's go. Okay, we got Mike showed up to help us. We got the trailer here. And uh, we got the boxes. We're here at the place. We're getting ready to carry these in. All right, first one, go down beside the pool. Now you're just gonna swing over until it floats. Set it in the water. One, two, three. There you go, perfect. Now just let him float, he'll be good. And then I carried in this box here, so we can go out and get more now. He's not upside down, is he? Okay, well then he's fine. Hold on, I was trying to see. So this is the one that has a hole in it. Right. That'll be the first one that we open up, but he's got to acclimate to our water temperature. We're a lot warmer than they are. Um. All right, the second one, we got to free open the outside bag. You got to watch too. If any of them had babies in the bags, we got to empty them out right away. Yeah. Okay, here comes another one. Okay. Reaper's going to throw these back together, put these boxes up. A small little guy in here. Okay, the third box looks good and alive and in good shape. Just carry that straight in, guys, and then re just release them in there. Look at Reaper scurrying and getting the boxes put back together. Right, <laughs> he's like, you, "You guys are doing the lift, and I, I'll do all this." <laughs> nice. Oh, you're still stacking them inside the fish room. Yeah. Let me show that on camera here, cause. I don't know where we're putting these boxes. Now this is the second load, and I have to put these boxes somewhere. Only these three are from this. Okay, watch out. Second load. The rest is all. I have to put these boxes somewhere where they don't get wet, and they have to save them for <laughs> moving them the third, the, you know, back to the new stop. So I don't have no room. I don't know where I'm going to put the rest of them, and we can barely walk through. There's the Blasio tanks. So we got more room right here, but after that, I don't know what I'm going to do with them. <sighs> He's in there floating. Yep. Good job, guys. Okay, this is the fifth one. Yeah, nice big one. He's good. Carry him in. Let him go. Well, you guys got this down. I carried in them two boxes. Now I'm doing nothing but video, and this is nice. <sighs> there we go. Okay, we've got one, two, three, four more boxes. And we will be done with the first half. We got to let them set in the water for about a half hour. And then we're going to start putting, uh, you know, open them all up and start putting water in and acclimating them to our water and then releasing them. And today went a whole lot quicker and easier than yesterday. These boxes are way lighter. <sighs> Walk through here. Yeah, we really got to clean up out here. Okay, come in the side here. Oh. Yeah, it looked nice yesterday with all these bags floating all over and we're like, and every bag is a surprise. <laughs> okay, look at this, guys. This is the sixth one. Yeah, oh, yeah, little baby pups in there. See, there's two. One in the corner, two one right there. Two you can see, yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's get her in there. And that's the deal Kevin made with me. He says, if they have any pups, you can have them. So I, I said, no, nah, I'm doing it for free. And he said, no, nah, you can take the pups. I'm like, okay. That's awful nice of them. Mm-hmm. Kevin from Stingray Biology. What a nice guy. If any of you guys have ever ordered from him, you'll know how well he packs things, how much he takes care of his rays, and uh, what nice rays they actually are. Okay, this one we're not going to be able to release. Right. We can keep, we can acclimate him to the bag, but we got to keep him in the bag until we get the pups out. There you go. Perfect. And I'm sure her water 
is kind of nasty in there because when they release the, the pups, they release a bunch of bodily fluids in there too. So as long as she's doing good and the pups are moving, yep. we can acclimate them for a little bit. Yep. Awesome. We had babies, guys. Babies. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay, this will be the eighth, eighth box, I think it is. Seven. Seventh one? You said there was ten, and there's three here. I don't know. I didn't count. Well, I can look oh. on the, the video oh. and see. Oh, okay. These are 11. We've got two here. We're just looking to see if it takes us down to that number seven. Okay. There you go. Here, hold this and watch this. I can lift this side out. One, two, three. Okay, set it up there. Now you guys put the bed. Okay. Rubber band. Okay. Okay, Reaper's opening the last box out here. That one's empty. And then I carried in the two from in there. And this is the last box out here. Now we're going to carry that in and acclimate it. But we got two boxes inside we got to open up yet. So now this is the last array outside. Looks in good shape. We're doing good. So let's get these moved in here. Can you yep. video this? All right, I'm going to lift up. Here. All right, got it. Good job, guys. Oh, we're getting good at this handing the camera off to everybody. <laughs> kind of an obstacle course to get through to get in here. And now in here, we got these last two here. The plant's starting to recover from it being in the water yesterday. <laughs> Slowly. And I told I said yesterday on the video it'll take two, three days. They're all acclimating. One, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. There's still eleven. I thought there was gonna be one less box. There's still eleven. We got eleven yesterday, but these are smaller boxes today. Smaller bags, a lot easier to work with. We were dying yesterday when we got done unloading the trailer. <laughs> Okay, guys, grab that one. Look at this, it's like an assembly line. Tomorrow's going to go real easy. Okay, we should have 11 bags in it then. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Okay, what we're doing now, Reaper's starting to open the bags. We're going to open them up and start putting water in each and every bag. Mike's over there collecting the bags and bringing them down here. We're going to put water in, leave them over here, and then continue to put water in for the next half hour, and then we're going to release them. Uh, they've been floating for over a half hour, so the water should be the same temperature. And... Uh, that's how we're doing things. Okay, now this one here is the one with the pups in it, the babies. Hold that open for him. He, Reaper's going to take the net. We made this little contraption for him to hold them. What's up, guys? Luke's here with his woman or his husband. Sure, release it right side up. Oh, look how cute! Isn't that cute? That's so adorable. Man, that stinks. Yeah, that's, like that's, bad. Bad. that's in some bad water. While well, they're digging for the babies, I'm gonna come over here. Look at how cute. Oh, wow. We got two. Oh, there's two of them in there. Flip them oh, over. Flip them. There you go. I got three, I think. Oh, 
Uh, reach in there. Hands. They may be dead. No, they're not dead. With my hands? Yeah, your hands. Yeah, you ain't going to get hurt. They won't, they won't hurt you. There's four of them. Four. She fit. just had those two. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what? Fill that bag up with, with fresh water. Pour some of that out. And let her in the bag because she may have more. Because yeah. those two were curled up. They just came out. Right. Can't help pour out. Pour out. There you go. That gives her plenty of clean, fresh water. Now, lift that up and then put it under the brick. We'll give her time. She may uh, have more yet. Okay, now, Ken, take another rock and put in the middle of that tray so that they're underwater a little more. That foam is really keeping them up high. There you go. Right in the middle. Don't touch no babies. That's not middle. you got to be centered. There you go. Now that'll hold them under, now like two and a half inches. Oh, look at that. See. They're all moving and doing good? Yeah. Okay, because the last two were kind of curled, Right. They, but they just came out. Four babies, guys, four babies. Four babies. That's adorable. <laughs> You're a grandpa after all, see? Here's a nighttime video. There's our, our uh, giant Mexican musk turtle. But look, it's a carpet of stingrays in my pool. Oh my God, the whole floor moves. And here's the hard part. We have to check this as many times as we can to see if any of them had babies so that none of the fish eat the babies. Wow, this is crazy. And there's more coming tomorrow, more coming Saturday, and then more coming all next week. Okay, guys, it's the next morning. We now have 22 rays in our system and three babies. Yes, we had babies last night. And look at this. It's like a carpet of rays. Everywhere in my pool. Look at all the rays. They're everywhere. Okay, everywhere. guys, sadly, the one of the babies died There's shortly babies after it was everywhere. born. So we only have three, but they're doing good today. Uh, you guys enjoy this? Please, you know, hit that notification bell and share our videos. As always, stay fishy, my friends.